Hey everybody, welcome to our round table of WrestleMania. This will be our WrestleMania preview number trace and our triple header. Mm -hmm. I am War Machine MJ, third place in predictions, first place in the Wonder Shop series. Joined by Mr. Second Place in the Wonder Shop series, Mr. First Place in predictions, mainstream Malcolm. Give him a little shake and make. Eh, eh, eh. Uh, across the table. Nice. We're joined by third place in the Wonder Shop series, second place in predictions, Rodimus Prime, the analyst. Yep, yep, yep. And as this guy said right here, this is our round table. This is our, this is the final of our triple header for WrestleMania weekend. Our paper preview of WrestleMania 34, which will be at the Superdome, not the Sky Dome that Hulk Hogan said at WrestleMania 30. Do y'all remember that? He said the Sky Dome. He said the Sky Dome. Because <sighs> you remember the opening segment with him, Austin, and The Rock? I, I forgot they said the Sky Dome. Yeah, he said the Sky Dome. And then, you know, The Rock came out there and did his little shtick. It's the Superdome in New Orleans. We're not in Toronto. Shout out to everybody in Canada, though. Hulk Hogan, you suck, though. <laughs> suck ass. Anyway. Anyway, this... but not just the finals of Triple Threat. The, the, the uh, Triple Header, not to cut you off. Yeah. This is also the finals in the Wonder Shop Series Season 1. Yes, so, this will determine the first inaugural Wonder Shop champion. Um, WrestleMania this year looks pretty good. A shitty build, but a great card. WrestleMania. Well, depends on the matches. Yeah, but I mean, I, I, I'm just saying for me overall. Yeah, a, a lot of theory is, um, well, a lot of people are saying is shitty build but great card. Yeah. And I sentiment, I echo the sentiment of good card, but it just depends on where the build is. Now, uh, these match places are not the most ideal, especially starting with the pre-show. Yes, uh, it was on Monday Night Raw where they announced the three pre-show matches. They are having a two-hour pre-show with a five-hour main card, which in total will be seven motherfucking hours. Now, the three, show, the three matches on this pre-show card will be the Cruiserweight Championship match, unfortunately, which still pisses me off. It's stupid. And the two we'll battle royal matches. We'll get to the Cruiserweight Classic in a second. Yeah, oh, let's, The Cruiserweight match, my bad. Let's start off with the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Or gay. is that... Sorry. I said gay. Shit. Come on, Malcolm. You know better. We, we can't say shit. No, we can't well, it, it sucks, okay? It's shitty. It's a, it's a clusterfuck. As I like to call it, the Andre the Giant Participation Trophy Battle Royal. Jarvis Central. Except for Barry Corbin, who's standing there. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. That, that's weird, dude. Why are you doing that? <sighs> anyway, um... I'm gonna tongue that statue. Hey. I'm gonna tongue that statue. Hey. That's garbage. <laughs> anyway, um... We've seen the lights of Cesaro, Big Show, Mojo Raleigh, and Baron Corbin won. With, Mo with Baron Corbin getting the better end of the deal. Yeah. Um, I still say Cesaro should have got a bigger push than what he did. But he's, he's doing pretty well for himself. Yeah, uh, you know, despite losing a couple of teeth along the way. Yeah, but uh, I don't know who to pick. I don't care who to pick. Well, you should actually care who to pick because I'm putting points on the line with this one. Yeah. Since this is a battle royal type match or a Royal Rumble, correct pick will get 10 points, but I'm going to put more points on the board. Your second pick will net you five points. Okay, okay. Well, I tell you what, then, since we're up in the ante, I'm going to say Baron Corbin will repeat my second pick, Chad Gable. Oh, you're going to go with Gable. That's a left field pick. Yep. Uh, I'm going to say Baron Corbin as my first pick, but as my second pick, I'm going to go the NXT route and say Cassius Sono. Nice, nice, nice. Mainstream, who do you say? Mm. There are no wrong answers. Well, this is the Battle Royal. Battle Royal is a wrong answer. Yeah. Shit, I don't know. Uh, oh. Who's all in it? Uh, I know. All, all, the jo all the supporting cast of SmackDown. 
Kane's in it. Uh, uh, Woken Matt Hardy. Elias. The Ten Guy. Yeah, that, that Ten Guy. You know, <laughs> the guy that's just... Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there might be some NXT call-ups um, call in there. Or at least some NXT people thrown in. I mean, we saw Hideo Itami and Killian Dane in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We saw what Baron Corbin did at WrestleMania 32 when he surprised us all. There's not going to be a big show or sh a shack in there. Thank God. Thank God. That's dumb. Braun Strowman's not in there. Rusev Day is not in there. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Hallelujah. I'll say the one pick is Elias with uh, Baron Corbin being number two. Okay. Okay. Cool. So we all have Baron Corbin in some capacity. Yes. Yeah. All right. Same story is going to go for the women's battle royal. Now, fun fact. This was named the Fabulous Moolah Battle Royal, but for some reason or another, gee, I wonder why, it got changed. Hmm, but we're not going to get into that, therefore... But, apparently, according to Jericho, they missed a good opportunity for a good name. Yeah. The Sensational Inventational. Hmm. I like that. I read where he pitched that to Vince, and Vince just said thanks. Which basically means, fuck you, I know what I'm doing. Hmm. Apparently, you don't, Vince... And the same, fucking idiot. The same fucking rules go for the women's battle royal. Your first pick, then your second pick. I'm gonna go first. My second pick, I'm gonna say Sasha Banks. And I'm gonna say my first pick is gonna be an NXT call. It's gonna be an <laughs> NXT person. <laughs> Peyton Royce is my first pick. Okay, that's a good point. That's a good pick. But Sasha Banks, she's not winning that. Who do you say? Well, it's not Sasha or Bailey. They're definitely not going to win that. Oh, man. Of course not. Um, uh, excuse me. My first pick is going to go <sighs> Becky Lynch. Yeah. I feel like since they're not doing anything, this will actually, you know, refresh, you know, hit the refresh button on her. My second pick, th this one's going to be a, another wild card NXT, Emperor Moon. Hmm. You know, I was honestly picking between uh, Peyton Royce and Nikki Cross, but I said Peyton Royce and Sasha. <gasps> not not a bad pick with uh, Peyton. My boy, mainstream. Who you say? Yo, boy. Well, I'll say pick which wins, but then second would be like, oh. Uh, uh, Captain Falk in New Japan is a dare. I wish, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, but Becklitch will win, I'll say probably... Uh, who's all in that? I um, think Naomi's in it. Sasha, Bailey, Mickey, Mickey James. Probably. You know what? I'll say Becklitch number one, then number two will be Naomi or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. Again, there are no wrong answers because those two matches are no longer answers. Now, speaking of dead wrong answers... Why the fuck did they have to put this on the pre-show? The they they refreshed this brand. The motherfucking cruiserweight championship mm. match. This when they announced these matches for the pre-show on Monday Night Raw, and they said the cruiserweight championship match. I was just like, it's supposed to happen. They must announce that at the start of the show because I, I. Oops, I thought it was still somewhere. Is uh, it on? Is it on? No, not on my phone. Wow, I, so I think they announced it during the show. Sometime during the show. Well, I mean, I. Woke up like 30 minutes into the show. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't see the uh, opening bit. Yeah. But anyway. Sorry about that. That's this, right. This just really... This one thing about WWE making the cruiser match. WWE. Stupid. Yeah. Stupid. But anyway, like I told these guys, if you're crowning a new champion, put this on first. Okay. I would have been... I, I would have not been mad had they put another match like... Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax on the pre-show. Maybe well, you should have chose your words carefully. You said put it on first. Pre-show comes first. I mean, the main card is what I mean. I know, but... Come on. You did this shit last year with a match that could have been, like, show stealer. Yeah. Between Neville and Aries. Uh, you're doing it again. Now, it makes sense if it was... If, you know, Enzo was still champ, it would have made sense. Yeah. <laughs> He's not champion. This is going to be the best face v face match on this card one of the most spectacular you know high flying technical amazing matches and you relegate it to the pre show no that is the dumbest fucking mistake aside from broadcasting pay per view from the from three cities yes that's the dumbest fucking mistake fuck 
But that being said, fellas, who do you pick? I'm picking Cedric Alexander. Because this guy is long overdue to be Cruiserweight Champion. Put the fucking belt on him. Now, Mustafa Ali, I wouldn't be mad had he won. I'll be okay with that. I'm going Cedric. It's long overdue. It's a toss-up for me because... No homo. I love both these guys. They're fantastic. Amen. I love those promos Mustafa Ali has cut. Yes. They're fantastic. Yes. But I'm going to go with Cedric. He is long overdue to win. Yes. Mainstream, who do you say? Cedric. Say Cedric? Because I like that lumbar check. That lumbar check is the most sold move in WWE. My yes. knee, my back. Oh. Everybody yeah. finds a way to sell it. You know, they either like spring off the knees or... You know, they land on their feet just to go limp, or they just dead. Dead. The next match will be a fatal four-way. Main card time. Main card time. We are main card. The fatal four-way for the United States Championship, this little belt I have right here. It will be the champion, Randy Orton, RKO out of nowhere, taking on Smiley Rope Guy, the glorious one, Bobby Roode, taking on... Jinder, Jinder Mahal. Mahal. That guy, Jinder Mahal. And <laughs> taking on Rusev Day, bitches. Now, now, Rusev Day. Now, WrestleMania is going to be what, fellas? Rusev Day. I said WrestleMania is going to be what? Rusev Day. You're damn right. Yeah. And that's who I'm picking, Rusev. Now, you guys may, may, may believe that Sunday is the day of God, but fuck him. It's Rusev Day. 24, 7, 3, 6, 5. It's still going to be Seth Day, so. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, anyway. But anyway, who are you picking, Mainstream? <laughs> who do you think I'm going to pick? Russo. We're all in agreement. It's Russo, right? You say Russo? That's... No? Okay. Maybe. Listen to my logic on this one. Jesus, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway. Um, Randy Orton, I feel like, is not going to win this match. No. He, he can afford to take an L. I just feel like he's not going to be pinned. Yeah. Jinder Mahal does not need this championship. In fact, they do, they just need to, you know, pump the brake. Put him on a holding pattern. Leave him alone. Because this top ten thing is stupid. They dropped that. Thank God. <laughs> I feel like it's going to come down to Smiling Guy Rude and Rusev. Because uh, both these guys are stupidly over, even though they've gone the wrong way with Bobby Rude. Mm-hmm. And Rusev is stupidly over. Yes. I feel like they're going to put the title on Rusev to keep him happy and keep him in the WWE. Yes. Because he's the number one merch seller. Amen. With that being said, I am still going to go with Rusev, but I just had to explain how I feel like this match is going to boil down to. Rusev, all Rusev. All Rusev. Rusev Day. Rusev Day. Rusev WrestleMania Day. is going to be what, fellas? Hold, 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 hold. Did you say Russo Day? I said Rusev. Okay, it sounded like you said Russo. I was about to say, we're going to have some words. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's move on to the next match. The next match will be for the Raw Women's Championship. The Goddess, the Five Feet of Fury, Little Miss Bliss, Alexa Bliss, defending the championship against... The Irresistible Force, Nia, Nia Jax. Jax. Now, <laughs> I will say, um, if I can speak for us, speak for the group, we do not condone body shaming. No. But they have come up with the storyline where Alexa has body shamed Nia Jax, and she's talked about that publicly. You know, people talk about how big she is. And let's just say, fellas, she is beautiful to be a big girl. Big girls need love. Oh, yeah. She's got a million-dollar smile. I love her smile. Mm -hmm. I love her smile, but I just sometimes hate the way she talks. She still sounds like she's sleeping in me. No no like, disrespect to her. Like what? Like, she, like she's going to sleep. Like she's oh. tired. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like Tyler Bate. Yeah. Did she... Tyler Bate just sounded like he woke up from a nap. Oh, I just had a nap. Yeah. Anyway, now, uh, it's that Valley Girl accent. That, that's what yeah. does me, and I'm like, uh... Yeah, but like we said, Naya, both girls are beautiful in their own right. Um, Alexa Bliss has basically uh, used Nia Jax to her advantage, and that's why she's aligned herself with Mickey James. They just fucking turned her heel. Like, what the fuck? Who? Mickey James. Yeah, they just straight up turned like, her heel out of nowhere. It, it's much. like, hooray, we signed Mickey James. What are we going to do with her? Yeah, complete shit. Nothing. Anyway, <laughs> I would have switched, if it were up to me, I would have switched the Cruiserweight Championship match for this match. Put it on pre-show. Anyway. No, they're, they're not no. going to do that. because. I mean, I know, I'm just saying. 
if it were up to me. Well, because of the story, they're definitely going to leave it on main card. Because yeah. it's, you know, it's beating people that, you know, fat shame you. Like, you know, the good, the bad girl's going to get her comeuppance for, you know, ridiculing yeah. uh, Nia. But anyway, um, I'm taking Nia Jax. If WWE isn't as tone deaf as they have been... Especially, you know, all the controversies they've been through. Mm -hmm. They'll have Nia win. Yeah. If if they're still supposedly in a touch with that Be A Star program, they're going to have Nia win. Yeah. Mainstream? Oh, yeah, Nia. Yeah, I heard that. That's yeah. Right. Oh, but, yeah, Nia Jax, I think Nia just going to win. Yeah. Now, here's a match that may differ on opinion. It is for the W W. E Smackdown Smack Tag yeah. Team Championship. <laughs> <laughs> it is a triple, triple threat. It's going to be the Uso Penitentiary coming in as champion, defending against the New, New Day. Day and the Bludgeon Brothers. <laughs> Harper. <laughs> <laughs> now, for the Usos, this is their first ever main card WrestleMania match. Now, WrestleMania. some people. Some people count the pre-show. I don't. Uh -uh. This is their first main card match after nearly 10 years with this company. What, what's, what's sad was an, a legitimate match for them was relegated to the pre-show. Yes. It was that um, it's a triple threat or a fatal four-way? I can't remember. Well, basically it was back when the New Day was first getting started. Yeah. And they had that you know fantastic title match, but it was pre-show. Yeah. And then you had the New Day, you know, they're looking to become five-time champions. You know, New Orleans is going to be, Nola's going to be lit when they come out. And then the okay. Bludgeon Brothers. So, I mean, nothing against them. They This gimmick is just cringe to me. Good <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Dang. I hope the camera picked that up. Anyway. Um, Who y'all picking? I'm saying Usos. Gimmicks aside, I like the Bludgeon Brothers. Really? Gimmicks, uh, gimmick aside. Yeah. Their, their gimmick is dumb. Yeah, it, I agree. You're dumb. But I like Harper and Rowan as a tag team. Yeah, they're kind of the uh, those old school Haas tag teams. Yeah. Haas. I think they'll be the underdog in this match. Of course, they're going to go in as the underdog because more people are going to look at New Day and Usos to say, they're going to look at them and say, hey, they're going to be the champions or so on and so forth. But Bludgeon Brothers might surprise us. You never know. It's WrestleMania. That being said, I'm going to go with the New Day. <laughs> you dumb fucks. I'll say Bludgeon Brothers. Are you really going Bludgeon Brothers? Yes, I am. What? See, I, I was just pulling... Uh, okay. I was talking out my ass. I didn't think we'd have different, <laughs> differing opinions. Okay. All right. Usos, Approved. New Day, Bludgeon Brothers? Yeah. Approved. Mainstream, you get 10 I feel like I feel like because... Uh, I feel like because... Uh, They're up we and seen, coming. We've seen New Day and Uso being champions, so I, I just want somebody new. Okay. So, that's understandable. I don't see them two actually doing something once. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. So anyway, let's talk about the Raw Tag Team Championships. It will be the bar. Cesaro and Sheamus. They don't set the bar. They are the bar. They is bar. They is bar. They is defecting <laughs> against <laughs> Braun Strowman and a mystery partner. Yeah. Now on Raw, he brought out his brother Brains. <laughs> brother. I love uh, that. Because he took off the glasses and Corey Graves screamed out, It's Braun Strowman! Yeah. I'm like, I loved it. Now, there's rumors of, you know, Elias, Samoa Joe. I even, heard Dean, I, heard, I even heard Dean Ambrose at one point. Yeah. No, I, I heard Ambrose he's not going to make it back. I heard Ambrose has to have another surgery. Oh, damn. Um, so he'll be set back for another few months. I've heard Rey Mysterio. No. That would be crazy as well. He's not going to make it. Cause of course he, not. Totally. He's, Myself. Yeah, yeah, while that might fly for New Japan, it's not gonna fly here. Nope. Um, I, I, I kind of. I heard it was me at one point. Yeah, right. No, it's fine. It's he cues you as a battering ram. <laughs> I even tried pitching to these guys, Lars Sullivan. Why not? That'd be a monster tag team, and I know what to call them. Call them unfinished business. <laughs> yeah. Because Braun Strowman's not finished. I saw an interview where he said if he could pick a. Uh, tag team partner from like the past. Yeah, it'd be Andre the Giant, and they'd be called a uh, team unfinished. I wouldn't say Andre. I'd say Bruiser Brody or Vader in his prime. Yeah, definitely Vader. Yeah, but anyway, um, 
this will be a good match depending on who Braun's partner is. Um, I'm going to say Braun and his mystery partner become champions. They'll be the new champions. Uh, That'll yeah. be the second title to change hands. Well, third title to change hands. So if, uh, Cruiserweight doesn't count. No. Because it's, no. um, it's vacated. Yeah. Uh, mainstream, who do you say? I'll say uh, Strowman and his mystery partner. Whoever he's going to be. Same here. Okay. Now, now on the subject of Strowman, I have said that I want Rusev to win the Money in Bank. But now, I want Strowman to win Money in Bank. <laughs> Think about it. Comes out with the briefcase. He's got a referee over his shoulder. Oh my God. Be funny as fuck. Oh my God. <laughs> or, uh, what? Another thing about Strowman I heard was, uh, what if his tag team partner was the uh, the old SmackDown Silver Fist stage? Oh, oh God. He just, like, carries it on a tow rope. Be fucking amazing. That'd be funny. Anyway. What'd you say you, who you wanted to win? Uh, Strowman and his mystery partner. We, so we all say yeah. the same thing? Yeah. We're all in agreement. Yeah. Now, this match is going to be a pretty special one. This is the first time ever where I can sit up and say, I'm excited for a shame it, man. Match because he's going to be teaming up with the returning Daniel Bryan. Now, and put a pin in that for a second. This is the first time I can actually say, since we haven't said anything about Daniel Bryan, you know, on social media or anything, this is the first time I can actually say that I'm happy to see Daniel Bryan on TV. Yes. Because him being just general manager is kind of grating on my nerves. Yes. Now that he's a wrestler doing what he does best. Yes. Yes, yes, and WrestleMania, just like WrestleMania 30 Jay, will be... Jay, Jay, <laughs> Ja. ja. Just, just like WrestleMania 30, it's going to become yes mania because he's going to be teaming up with Shane McMahon to take on Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Now, if Zayn and Owens wins, they will be reinstated back to SmackDown. No, there, there was no. no stipulation if they win. If they lose, they're fired. They remain fired, yeah. I thought it was the... Uh-uh. Oh. You, you're thinking of the Gargano match. No, I thought it was oh. another no. where if they won, they come back. If they lose, they're fired. There, there I no, know that if they lose, they're fired. I thought it was the... There was no stipulation for them winning. Okay, but anyway, all I got to say is when Daniel Bryan music hits, oh, that, you might as well just... That, that Superdome is going to explode that like napalm. That crowd's going to pop louder than... The SmackDown where he announced that he's, you know, back. Yeah, you might as well just call it quits because as soon as he comes out and he starts doing this, Ooh, it's over. Oh, bro, it's done with. I feel like the Superdome is going to sell out just for this match. Man, I'm not, I won't be surprised if WrestleMania's already sold, if it had already sold out before they announced. Oh, definitely. But anyway, um, <laughs> like I said, with Shane McMahon, you know, being what he does, I, I'm honestly excited that this is a good match. And this is, you know, with Daniel Bryan being back, I'm actually excited for this match. Yeah. That being said, it should be a really good match. I'm taking Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. Now, the kicker here is they said if they lose, they're fired. They never specified if it's from the company or from the show. Yeah. So most likely they might go to Raw. Yeah. Trade them for a bar. Beer. Bar. I like that. It's so, fair. I'm going to say, it's Daniel Bryan. He's going to fucking win. Now, I especially, did... Not to cut you off, but especially in the same arena where he won, you know, biggest prize. Yeah. He's going to fucking... Where and he beat three certified Hall of Famers. He defeated Evolution in one night. Yeah. Now, I did Suck see... Suck at Shield. I did see where, you know, he and Shane put aside their differences and they hugged. Someone posed this question. Bitch. Hug it out. What if Shane McMahon pulled the swerve on Daniel Bryan and had KO and Zayn win? Oh, shit. That would suck for his first match back. Oh, yeah. Definitely get the crowd behind Daniel Bryan. Yeah. Because oh, it would be a lot better than alternate Daniel Bryan going heel. Yeah. That would be weird as fuck. What? Daniel Bryan as a heel was, wasn't that good. I won't say, I mean, I won't say it's, it was trash, but I just didn't like it. Yeah. But it's just, it worked against them because it's Daniel Bryan. Nobody's going to boo him. Yeah. Although there was that one jackass that wanted him this week. Oh God! What? Uh, like, on SmackDown when uh when they did that segment uh, between the four of them, where um, KO and Zayn just randomly came out and cut a promo. Yeah. There was one guy who kept wanting Daniel Bryan. Why? Nigga. 
Oh, my stupid. bad. Stupid. Bro. I, 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 my bad. But anyway. What? I would said something else. Oh. But anyway. Anyway, we're all in agreement. McMahon, Brian will win. Yeah. The next match will be a Old triple. Oh, with punch is going to win. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I say, uh. I want Daniel Bryan and, uh, and uh, Shane O'Mac to win too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you said Shane O'Mac. I thought you said Shit O'Mac. <laughs> well, he, he does make he does do shit punches. So. Yeah. And he does um, like moan like a, a, a giraffe taking a dump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I had to laugh. It wasn't funny, but it was funny. It was. He, he definitely sold it. The situation was funny. His selling was. Okay, the situation was not funny. His selling was funny as shit. Yeah. It ruined the moment. Yeah. Anyway, the next match will be a triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship. It will be your boy, my boy, his boy, The Miz. Congratulations on this new baby. Congratulations. Taking on Mr. Burn It Down, Seth Rollins, and Demon Balor. Now, oh, we're getting Demon Balor. There's no way we can't get Demon Balor at WrestleMania. Unless... Unless Steve and Larson are right and we get either Purple Balor or Gold Balor. I want to see Gold. gold yeah, I want to see Gold Balor. That'd be great. Yeah. Anyway, but uh, originally this match was, you know, shaky about whether or not it was going to happen. Yeah, because um, Miz, Miz's daughter, uh, his wife Maurice gave birth to their daughter, which was supposed to come like today or so. Yeah, it was like real close to WrestleMania. Yeah, and it came like a few days early. So well, he came like two weeks early. Yeah, so luckily he's going to be able to make WrestleMania. Yeah, but uh, question: are You guys too? Th are you guys thrilled at all about Dad Miz? I'm okay with it. I mean, you know, it's his first child. You know. No, well, I mean, like the, you know, the way he was. On oh yeah, for you Raw. can you can tell he was trying to. You know, what I'm saying. He was trying to sweet talk his way, like, "Oh, he's such a good person." Yada yada yada. I, I'm not too thrilled on it. No, I would. I, I prefer Miz that you know berates people and yeah. gets his comeuppance because he's he's better at berating. Oh yeah. Now, you know the Miz. He's done his thing as Intercontinental Champion. Finn Balor looking for his second piece of gold, despite having to relinquish the Universal Title after winning it. And Seth Rollins is looking to join the. Um, Grand Slam. The Grand Slam Club. A good, 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 which, good Grand Slam. Which The Miz belongs to. Mm-hmm. But um, going back to The Miz, right now he is on en route to be uh, to break the record for most days held combined for yeah. the Intercontinental Belt. Yeah, if he hasn't broken that record already, he's definitely on his way. Well, um, that segment with the implosion of The Miz Taraj, yeah. he said he was like 60 days. Yeah. So I mean, mm -hmm. but I, I don't see him walking out of Mania champion. No, for the sole reason of he's going to go home to spend time, you know, with his yeah. family. I could see that where he drops, baby, where, where, he, where he drops the belt and you know he takes a few days off or whatever. Yeah. That being said, I was debating on who I wanted to win. I know Miz ain't winning. I wanted to say Balor because for a couple weeks he had the upper hand on Seth Rollins. But I'm taking Seth Rollins. I feel like he will be a Grand Slam champion. Seth Rollins walks out of NOLA, the new Intercontinental champion. I uh, want to preface this by saying we still love the Miz. No homo. Yeah. yeah. No even, homo. Though he's, even though he's not going to be retaining the belt, we still, you know, no homo love him. Yeah. I got to go with my boy Balor on this one. Because go with uh, whatever color Balor he is. Whether we get Man Balor or whether we get Demon Balor. Yeah. Don't care, Balor's going to win for the sole reason of Seth Rollins might be on the horizon for bigger prospects. Yeah, because he might be. Uh, I can see it happening uh, against Reigns after he, you know. Uh, let's go ahead and spoil it. Yeah, we're we know Reigns is going to win. Uh, yeah, so. of course. I mean, after he after Reigns wins against Brock Lesnar, that, they'll feed him a couple of jobber feuds. Seth Rollins is definitely going to be next on the list. Of course. Yeah. Not 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 as a jobber feud, but just you know yeah. like a legit feud. Now, mainstream. Who do you? Pick? Finn Balor. Finn Balor. Finn Balor. Finn Balor. Finn, Finn Balor. Now, I'd like to take a break in the action and make a bet. If this guy. 
comes in second or lower, he has to watch a Star Wars movie. Because he says he hates Star Wars, but never watched What about that banana sandwich thing? I still, I still haven't compared, you know, the results versus our picks. Well, let me ask you this. When I wore my Star Wars shirt the other day, yeah. what's wrong with that? Like, what's wrong with me just liking the shirt? Nothing wrong with it. But it's a Star Wars shirt. You said you hate Star Wars. You didn't say whether you hate something individually. You say you hate it as a collective. But you've never given a movie a chance. That is a fact. And I, I have accepted the bet. I have accepted the bet. Yeah. He has to beat both of us. This card and TakeOver. Supercard counts too? Supercard does not count. Okay. But if he comes in second place, he watches one movie. If he comes in third, if he comes in last, he has to watch the, fir the original three. No sleeping, no cell phone. And every time he has to go to the can, we pause the movie. Okay. And if he falls asleep, Malcolm's going to wake him up. Yeah. Kind of a, wake up. Yeah. So, there you go. That's going to be our bet. Cool. To ben try accepted. new things, yes. Yes. Next match is a, another lock of the night. It is for the Smack. Down Women's Championship. It will be the Queen, Charlotte Flair, defending Woo! against the winner of the first ever Women's Royal Rumble, the Empress, Asuka. Now, as many people call it, and we should all agree, this is a motherfucking dream match. Now, it was a lot of speculation on who Asuka was going to face, Alexa Bliss, yada, yada, yada. She chose the Queen. Why not go after the big dog in the yard? Earth, Earth, big and dog. And we ain't talking about that other guy. My we're yard now. <laughs> we're talking about the Queen Charlotte. And she just had a birthday mm -hmm. yesterday, I believe. I think so. Queen Charlotte? Yeah. Can you believe she's 32? She's really? 32? Yeah, and she looks hella fine to be 32. Mm -hmm. 32 yeah. is looking good on her. Anyway, <sighs> when she came out at Fast Lane being Oscar and made her decision, I said, match of the night already. I'm already calling it. And I, I kind of I kind of called this match. Yeah. Uh, on the second try, I called this match. First match I called was Asuka says screw it and challenges both titles in one night. That would be nice. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. But this is much higher stakes. It is the streak versus the title. The two year undefeated, going on three year streak. Yeah. The longest kayfabe streak. Mm-hmm. And they actually got it right. Yes, it's not fudge numbers like Goldberg. Oh God! <laughs> One minute is like twelve and zero. Next week it's like fifty nine and zero. Like how the fuck y'all get fifty nine in one week? Anyway, I'm going Oscar. There will be a new women's champion. I'm picking Oscar. I mean, if I could speak for for everybody, we're picking Oscar, right? Oscar. Oscar. Nobody's okay. right for Oscar. No. I gotta say, even though she's, you know, bad on the mic. I mean, there, there's no way around it. She's yeah. kind of bad on like I'm not saying she's horrible. She tries. Yeah. But I love her crazy energy. Oh, it's yeah. fantastic. Especially, like, when she over-enunciated Empress of Tomorrow. Oh, It's great. I loved it. It's yeah. fantastic. Anyway, the next match will be a mixed tag team match. It will be the Olympic gold medalist, WWE Hall of Famer Kurt Angle and Raw GM, teaming up with Rowdy Ronda Rousey, the baddest woman on the planet, taking on Triple H, and Raw Commissioner, his wife, Stephanie McMahon. I find it funny that this match is happening. Yeah. I, you know, <laughs> a lot of people are speculating how Ronda's going to do in the ring. Her selling through that table when she got put through that table was garbage. That selling was garbage. Okay, like I said, when it comes down to this tag team match, they made it tag team to cover her weaknesses. Mm-hmm. You know... It's going to be her first outing. She's not going to be that good. Yeah. But they're going to have Kurt Angle and Triple H kind of break that. Yeah. Kind of uh, cover her a bit. Yeah. Stephanie McMahon, she's been in the ring. You know, she's basically grown up in the business. <laughs> I mean, um, Stephanie can put on good matches. Yeah. At least watchable matches. Yeah. And that's, I, they're not car crashes. I say give this match a good 10 to 12 minutes. You know, it's going to be an okay match. But uh, I'm going to say Angle and Rousey get the victory. I, that's almost a guarantee. It's seconded mainstream. I'm, uh, 
I'll, I'll, I'll say Ango and uh, Rousey. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Yeah. Uh, there's, I could say this about Rousey. Initially, I was hes hesitant about her coming in, but uh, she proved that there's something there. Yeah. I, I'm just glad her first feud isn't a you know title match. Yeah. And they're keeping her away from Asuka. Oh yeah. So. Anyway, um, before we get to the next two matches, it's a it's been a lot of speculation on John Cena. John Will Cena. he face the Undertaker at John WrestleMania? Cena. Funny that you bring it up because, like I said, there's opportunities for, for points. Mm -hmm. So here's an extra point. Does this match happen? Yes. You say yes? Yes. What do you say? I'll say yes, but have him come back as American Badass, maybe? A lot of people are not too keen on type of biker taker. You know what? You know what? Because... I mean, it makes sense if he comes back. Yeah. Because... You know, first off, he left his you know his trench coat, his gloves, his hat in the ring last year. Secondly, when John Cena made his debut, we had Biker Taker, mm -hmm. and then there was that nice little backstage segment where Biker Taker gave Cena his props. Yeah, yeah after he debuted against Kurt Angle. Yeah. yeah. So, so that might actually happen. Makes sense, but not a lot of people are keen on it. Well, I've seen a lot of people say, well, you know, they're going to do the Hall of Fame inductee segment. Kid Rock's out there. Mm. He Kid does, Rock is garbage. He does American garbage. Badass, in which Undertaker used to come out to. He came out to Roland. And he came out to American Badass, well, before Roland, I think. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, Kid Rock does that, Undertaker comes out, crowd goes crazy. I say no. Match is ne isn't going to happen, but they're going to pull the Rock Cena and set up the feud for next year. I could see that happening. Rock Cena? Rock. Well, you know, where um, Miz versus Cena, Rock came out, he, you know, cost Cena the title, mm -hmm. and basically challenged him to WrestleMania the following year. Yeah. You know, once in a lifetime, before it was spoiled by twice in a lifetime. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to do, they're going to go that route. We'll see. But anyway, let's talk about the next two matches. It's for the WWE Championship, the world title this Party thing right here. Okay, stop it. Anyway, it's for the WWE Championship. You, you could have stopped after title, world title. <laughs> you could have just stopped there. You had to ruin it. <laughs> this is why we don't let you do things. Oh, my God. Anyway. It's going to be. No, stop. You ruined it. <laughs> stop. It's going to be the phenomenal one, the one that built houses, AJ Styles, <laughs> taking on... Shinsuke, the rock star, and winner of the 2018 Royal Rumble. I almost said 2016, then 2017. Winner of the 2018 Boy. Royal Rumble, Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, I will say this. Ah. No, I want to say this. Okay, say it. He wants to say it, bro. He's, he's going to say it anyway. Out of all the entrances at WrestleMania, this is the one entrance I'm looking forward to. Pull a repeat of TakeOver. Shinsuke Nakamura's entrance at WrestleMania. Holy shit. Oh, it's going to be lit. It's going to be beyond lit. Now, for those of you who, you know, have lived under a rock for the past, you know, decade or so, these two have locked horns at Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah. It was Wrestle Kingdom 9, I believe? It was, it was like maybe two or three years ago. Because they wrestled for the Intercontinental title. Yeah, I know it was the Intercontinental title. I, I watched the match. It was a fantastic match. Yeah. Uh, wasn't that before Okada Omega? Yes. Uh, was it the year before? It was in 2016. Because it was a couple weeks before AJ went to the, came to WWE. Uh, yeah, because... Uh, and there's... then, you know, Shinsuke came right after he did. Yeah, okay, yeah, because there's that picture where AJ became the only guy to main event the same... The, the Wrestle Kingdom and WrestleMania of the same year. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So this is essentially Styles Nakamura Bullet Club versus Chaos Round 2. Yes. And I really hope this match gets a lot of time. I mean, not too much time, but enough time to where it's like, holy shit, this was a great match. Because it's going to be great anyway. way. Oh, this, this is going to be a, you know, they're going to give this match enough time. It's going to be fantastic. 
the build has kind of been, you know, they rushed it towards the end. Yeah. But it's been great. I've loved the uh, the backstage encounters where Shinsuke says, uh, you know, I'm going to beat you at WrestleMania. Yeah. And then the past two weeks where they've kind of, you know, mocked each other, you know, patting on the head and stuff. Yeah. It's great. Especially the Tuesday where uh, AJ looked like he was going for a phenomenal forearm. Stopped himself and just patted Shinsuke on the head. Yeah. Uh, these, these two are going to tear it up. Yes. I'm picking Shinsuke Nakamura. Who do you say? I'm picking Shinsuke Nakamura. I'm picking Shinsuke as well. His next few is going to be Daniel Bryan. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> they do want to face off, though. Yeah. yeah. They've always said they want to face each other. Who, Daniel Bryan and Shinsuke? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Just like Daniel Bryan said, he wanted to form a vegan tag team with Zack Sabre Jr. Yes. Oh, God. ZSG? ZSJ's vegan? Yeah. I didn't know that. He's also, I probably knew, but I forgot. Yeah, he's also a, a avid supporter against animal cruelty. Because oh, he had that shirt where it's um, don't uh, stop hurting animals or I'll you know headlock you or something like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway, but anyway, next match. Speaking of rematches, is going to be for the WWE Universal Title. J it's the Beast, Brock Lesnar defending against Roman Reigns. Now, um, the promo that Heyman cut on Raw pretty much signified that Brock is leaving. He's going back to the UFC. Um, there is speculation that Paul Heyman's contract will come up mm -hmm. at midnight, WrestleMania. So um, we'll, yeah. we'll speculate on that a little bit yeah. later. But like we said at the beginning, Roman's going to win. Um They've actually started telling a really good narrative with this. Yes, they have. Um, Roman Reigns is basically, you know, saying Brock doesn't care about you guys. Brock doesn't care about the title. Brock doesn't care about WWE because he can't, you know, show up. Yeah. You know, it's been great. Of course, Brock Lesnar is just, hey, I'm showing up to beat you up. Yeah, that's pretty much what he's done. They could have done a little bit more narrative with Brock. Maybe get, you know, his, his voice on this. Yeah. Because I feel like you know, Brock actually speaking from, you know, from the heart would fit in here. Because mm -hmm. I don't care about this belt, but Roma's not going to have it because it's mine. Yeah. Been great. But uh, I agree. I do like what they're doing. I mean, even though it's obvious Roman is going to win, Yeah. but I do like the story that they're telling. The, the one bit of this story that I didn't like was uh, Roman called Brock Vince's boy. Yeah. I... No. And Vince was like, I don't have any boys. You know, Brock Lesnar doesn't like anybody. He's earned some special privileges. You know, he's worked hard for him, yada, yada, yada. And so, you know. Um, let's see, what else was I going to say? Now, despite how many people feel, I actually liked their first match before Seth Rollins cashed in. Oh, yes. It was a great match. I actually wanted to see a rematch between the two, you know, uh, the, the, the next year. When uh, Roman Reigns beat Triple H. Can you believe it's been... Uh, this will be year four that Roman Reigns is uh, main evented. Wow. Yep. Wow. Because he main evented against Brock. Main, ev main evented against Triple H. Then Taker. Now Brock again. Wow. Yep. So yeah, it's obvious Brock. Brock's losing. He's going to walk you know, the UFC. Yeah. Daniel White pretty much said he's coming back. I'm not going to say when, but he's coming back. Now, as far as Heyman goes, there's a lot of speculation about what Heyman could be doing. Mm -hmm. Such as he could be uh, in Rhonda's corner. I could see that. Uh, he could be her mouthpiece. Yeah. Because she does cut some bad promos. Well, again, it, she... They're not trash, but... They could be better. She could have benefited from going to the Performance Center. Mm -hmm. um, there's also speculation that he could be siding with Roman. And that's how we get the Roman heel turn. I could see it. I would actually like that. I hope they do that because Roman is bad on the mic. Well, okay. When it comes down to scripted promos, he's bad. But when it comes down to, you know, legitimate, you know, off his chest kind of promos, they're great. Yeah. Like a good compar comparison, um, when he was feuding with, with Cena, 
and his comeback line to getting, you know, like, you know, burned horribly by Cena was, they boo you because you suck. Yeah. That's terrible. Um, versus his promo at the beginning of this Lesnar-Roman uh, feud, you know, where Roman was, you know, talking all this trash about Brock. That was great. Yep. If they just give him a cue card of what points he needs to nail, I think his promos would be better. But having a mouthpiece wouldn't hurt. No. Uh, like we said, there's no mo there's no more debate about this match. Roman's gonna win. Roman's winning. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, any other things you want to talk about? Um, let's see. Yeah. Not really. That's pretty much it. It's not it, because like we said, it's going to be the finals of the Wonder Shop series where the winner will collect this. Ah. This homemade belt. That's nice. The Wonder Shop Championship, the first ever Wonder Shop Series Championship, will be the end of Season 1 and kind of the beginning of Season 2. Mm -hmm. So, to the winner goes the prize. So with that being said, he, that's mainstream Malcolm asleep, kind of. Yeah. He's Rodimus Prime. I'm War Machine MJ. We'll see you guys after Mania. Yep. Oh, before I forget, we're going to be live streaming our reactions to WrestleMania. From pre-show bell to post-show bell. So... It's going to be on YouTube. Don't miss it.